Howdy guys, Mason Straight Shooter here, back for another video. Uh, today the plan is to clean this Browning Hell's Canyon 6.5 PRC. Put a different scope on, I'm going to put a little bit bigger loophole scope on there. And we're going to sight in, chronograph it, clean it, everything. So stay tuned. <laughs> The old scope is a 4.5 to 14 with the CDS, just the single uh, spin turret. It's got the Winplex uh, reticle in there. And we're gonna switch it out to this Leupold 3 to 15 by 44 CDS, but it's got the, uh, the ZL2, so I can spin around twice, and the 30 millimeter tube, and it's got the, H, the HTMR reticle. So it's got the crosshairs up and down and side to side with uh, the mill dots in there. And then the other thing I really like about this, uh, other than this one, if you can see, come around to this side. On this scope here, the side focus, you just kind of guessed. There was no real numbers on there. You kind of guessed for what it looked right. What I like about this new one is it's actually got numbers. So you can get a lot closer, a lot quicker. And then it's got the double lock turret on there so you can actually spin it around twice. You get two revolutions out of the turret. And it's a little bit uh, bigger and lens there, 44 millimeter. So you get a little bit more light. So let's swap it out. So I mounted, I got a different video that I'll put down in the bottom, in the description, on a different video where I mounted the scope on a Tika with Warren rings. But the gist of mounting the scope is the same thing. You get your gun level and then you get your scope level. Pretty straightforward. I'll just quick do it here. While doing some research and stuff, there is no, I couldn't find it, on how to mount these browning uh, rings. I couldn't find it. Basically, the best thing that I can say when mounting these rings is mount them as far apart as you can that your scope will allow to give as much support to your scope. There's really no right or wrong. You can have both forward, both back, but I would just recommend having both out as far as you can if you can get it set with enough eye relief on your scope. So then that will give the most support to your scope. So after much deliberation, there's not a flat spot on this rifle to put a level on, to level it. <laughs> the best spot we come up with is right here on the rings. There's, that's the only flat spot. And they're aluminum, so it's not like they stick onto the magnet. So you kind of got to hold it on there. And then we can adjust our uh, vise here to get that bubble centered. How's that look? All right, I'll put the scope on there, like so. Drop the level on top. That's the other thing between this scope and that one. This turret is a lot bigger, which is pretty nice. So I check that. That's nice and level in the center. Put our rings on here. So we, we'll just put them on there. We'll start all the screws. But we won't tighten them down. We'll just get them snug. And then I always like to check. I always like to look through the scope. To make sure that it's level. 
Yeah, the level says it's good, but I just like to check. I got a flagpole out in the yard that's leveled when we put it in, so I usually line my crosshair up with that. And then I also check my eye relief. So like I was saying before with these rings, how they're both out, I only have about a quarter inch, inch of adjustment that I can adjust my eye relief. So I'm hoping, 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 I got it zoomed all the way in that my eye relief will be money. Hope. Oh. Cross your fingers. So then we'll just snug this down. Not tighten it, just snug it. Keep watching my level as I tighten. Make sure we're still good. And then you don't want to tighten down one side of the ring, and then the other you want to tighten them down together. Because if you tighten down one side, it'll pull the scope that way. Alright. Let's check, see what it looks like. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's crank them down the rest of the way. So we'll crank it down to 22 pounds, foot pounds on the torque wrench. Then you just go till it clicks without the screw turning at all. That's what I was doing there. I was just, just going around clicking until uh, it wouldn't. I didn't see it move at all. Scope mounted. Let's quick clean it, and then we'll sight it in. Run it through a chronograph, so then I can order a custom turret.